Hey guys, Publishing Pete here. I'm going to be talking to you today about Newsstand. Newsstand is anywhere that sells a magazine, a periodical, that kind of thing. It's not predominantly a comic book space. So it was a little bit of an uphill climb to get to where we are right now. When we first started, we had all of our titles on Newsstand. Miniseries, mature, young adult, all ages, whatever it was, we had it there. We had it in comic shops. Um, the biggest difference was just Newsstand was released uh, one or two months after the comic shops got their books. So uh, going forward with the whole thing, it, basically all we did was assess what worked out after the first year. Mature titles, all ages, what was it? And mature miniseries titles did not do as well as young adult all ages titles did. I see why am I and it came out on a Wednesday were two titles specifically invented for newsstand. They're also in comic shops too, but they were made for the newsstand market. I see why am I is in case you missed it. So any stories that are a year or older get reprinted in I see why am I as long as they're young adult, all ages, that kind of a thing. This has been great for the newsstand market, especially with a 99 cent price point. It came out on a Wednesday as a horror sci-fi fantasy anthology series. So every single issue is different. It is not dependent on the issue that comes before or after it. So this has been great too. This has been really good as an impulse buy for people. They enjoy an issue and then they'll go and they'll find the other issues they might have missed. Most of the time, this leads customers to comic shops. We've had dozens upon dozens of people say that they saw our books on the newsstand or they bought them on the newsstand and then went and got them at their local comic shop. They found out more about Alterna. They found out our other books by visiting our website and they got those as well, whether they ordered direct from us or they went to a comic shop. And these are actual quantifiable results from newsstand customers supporting direct or their local comic shop. So it's been great for that. Newsstand has been really, really great for that. But a big con about Newsstand, one of the biggest drawbacks has been the high return rate. It's generally about a 60 to 70% return rate. And the fact that sometimes the data just really isn't that accurate. And what I mean by that is that let's say somebody brings up four different issues to the register. Ideally, they'll scan each individual issue and each individual issue's sale gets reported. Now, sometimes someone will bring up four issues and only one issue gets scanned four times. So sometimes we'll see issues that have negative sell-through numbers, meaning more issues have been returned than we even gave them to begin with. The only way you get a figure like that, the only way you get that kind of report is when issues are not being recorded correctly when they sell. They're not being scanned properly. They're not being reported. Um, it's frustrating. And the system is more and more moving away from the tear of the cover off and return them and this and that. It's moving away from the hard, quantifiable, you know, count them up, return them, ship them back, whatever it is. Um, and it's going more towards point of sale scanning. So it's really, really becoming dependent upon what gets scanned. And that's what gets reported as sold. And what doesn't get scanned gets reported as returned. So it's made, it's made that whole market very difficult in some respects. Um, and that's why we had a big shift away from selling a lot of different issues, a lot of different titles through newsstand. But it's great when it comes to ongoing. It's great when it comes to getting exposure for your brand. It's great when it comes to getting new customers on board, familiar with your products, um, people who may have never went to a comic shop. If you approach a newsstand with the attitude of this is something that's great to raise brand awareness, this is something that is more of an advertising expense than a sales outlet, you'll have a lot of success in this avenue. If you are fully dependent upon newsstand sales to survive, like any other sales channel, 
you can't depend on just one avenue of sale. You have to use all of them at your disposal. So if you just depend on newsstand to survive, it's not going to be good for you. But if you use it in conjunction with a, a lot of different sales channels, you're going to have some success with it. Go to your local books a million. Go to your local Barnes and Nobles. Uh, check them out. Uh, 50% of Barnes and Nobles have our comics in their newsstand area. And about 80% of books and millions do. Sometimes they're in, not in the comic section. Sometimes they sell comics. Sometimes they don't. Um, they're with the magazines. They're treated as a periodical. And that's where they get put. So if you do see us on the newsstand, take a picture, let us know. Tag us at Alterna Comics on Twitter. And I hope this video was useful for you guys. Thanks again. Your questions, comments, and thoughts are always appreciated. And if you'd like to send us something, you can send it to the official Alterna Comics P.O. Box. Thank you for watching and reading.